Hello for great, welcome back. I'm really happy. I'm really happy that you are here. Welcome back and I hope that you are ready to start with today's week. Remember that this week I'm going to be really close to you. Closer than you are used to, but it's okay. So um I hope so. What do you think about it? Do you like this angle or not? Okay, so as you know, we're going to start by doing a review about the activities, about the activities that we did yesterday. And yesterday we did just a few activities, and that's the same that we are going to do today. But today's activities are going to be more about grammar, so you just need to pay attention and remember the activities that we've been doing these days. So um, yesterday we did that review about the phonics or the sounds. We just, we had just two G E and D G E, okay? So cage, age, huge, bridge, stage, judge, page, pledge, large, fudge, change, dodge. Can you read it really fast? Can you? Try to pause this video and try to read it really fast. Faster, uh, the faster that you can. Okay, so so later we did um, activities on page. 74 and that was it for yesterday we had activity 22 23 and 24 and 25 okay the last one was a listening and it's pretty sure if you couldn't find or you couldn't listen to the answers um, you can check them on the students book you have the same chant you know that so today we're going to keep going with the simple past questions and short answers this is the main formula and don't worry about it because it is not that difficult. I know that you've been doing an excellent job and you are getting all the topics, but we're just going to review so there's not any doubt and everything is really clear. Okay, kids. So first of all, what about the questions? How do we make these questions? These questions are really easy. Remember, it's just for simple past. Okay, simple past. And uh, you are always going to start your questions with did. Did. And then the personal pronoun or the subject. Recuerda que no necesariamente va a ser un pronombre de estos. Eh, en realidad es un sujeto. Un sujeto puede ser an object, a thing, a place. Um, also an animal, etc. Okay, or also sometimes they give you the name of the person or the people. For example, Laura, for example, Annabel, Rodrigo, Lucas, Evan, etc. They can give you whichever is the name that they want to give you or you can make them. And then you're going to write the verb in present. But teacher, why is the verb in present if we are making questions in past? The reason is that, or is why, the reason why is that we are using the simple past in the auxiliary did. This auxiliary is really, is already in past. So uh, in one sentence or one question or whatever it is, you cannot use two verbs in past, okay, in these kind of sentences. A lo mejor hay otro tipo, pero en este tipo de preguntas, de oraciones, nunca vamos a usar dos verbos en pasado juntos. For example, because this is an auxiliary verb and this is the main verb. Porque este es un auxiliar, verbo auxiliar, y este es el verdadero verbo. So, did I play tennis? Did you play tennis? Did he play tennis? And the short answers are really short like their name say, and um, yes, are super easy. For example, you can say, yes, I did, yes, you did, yes, he did, yes, she did, yes, he did, yes, we did, yes, they did, etc. But what about if we want to answer with a negative short answer, we will say, no, I didn't, no, you didn't, no, he didn't, no, she didn't, no, he didn't. No, we didn't. No, they didn't. Okay? And that's it. So now the questions or the examples that I have for you are the next ones. And they say, did you have a fridge? No, I didn't. Okay? You can see did, 
subject and the verb in present. And the short answer, no, I didn't. Okay, didn't is the same as saying no, I did not. But didn't is most common because it's shorter. Or for example, a positive sentence or a positive answer would say, did he used to have oil lamps? Yes, he did. Okay? Or for example, did they used to travel by car? No, they didn't. Did they used to have a cold stuff? Yes, they did. Okay? So now we can go to the workbook page. We have only one page. It's the last page that we have for this unit. Activity 26 says um, read and solve the equation. A school bus has an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour. How far does it travel in three hours? So you're going to do a multiplication. Okay. 60 por 3 and the result is... It's really easy, okay? Number two, a bike has an average a speed of 20 kilometers per hour. How far does it travel? Six hours is the same. We do the multiplication. 20 por 6 hours, 6 hours, and you have the kilometers, the result. And that's it. Okay, so activity 27, circle the correct words, then answer the questions. Did or do people have microwaves 100 years ago? Entonces vamos a elegir. Recuerda que estamos haciendo preguntas en pasado. Did or do? And you can say... No, they didn't, or yes, they didn't. What do you think? Did you, did your city or town have or had cars 10 years ago? Remember the structure. You're going to circle have or had. Um, you can say yes, it did, or no, it didn't, okay? And number three, did people use to or used to? to watch TV before electricity? Uh, yes, they did or no, they didn't. Did your dad, did your dad travel to school, to school by horse and buggy? You circle traveled or travel and you can say yes, he did or no, he did. I'm looking this way. Estoy mirando hacia este lado porque aquí I have my laptop in here. Um, por eso me va así. So, uh, um, activity 28 says, circle four things that didn't exist long ago. Write sentences with didn't use to in your notebook. For example, you have a picture in here. You can, I think you can find more than four. And you're going to write. For example, um, long ago, they didn't use to have um, I don't know, TVs. Long ago, they didn't used to have electricity, okay? So you're going to circle and write four sentences in your notebook. If you don't send your sentences in your notebook, si no me envías esto en la libreta, además de esta página, tu tarea no va a estar completa, okay? No me envíes solo las demás actividades y la 28... I don't know, teacher. No la is. No, you just need to send me this page and also the page on your notebook where you wrote the four sentences. There are just four sentences, okay? Just four sentences. Try to do it on your notebook. So, activity 29. What were you and your family doing at these times yesterday? So, yesterday, what day was it? Monday? Yesterday on Monday, what were you doing at 8 o'clock in the morning? I was sleeping. I was eating breakfast, okay? 12 o'clock, lunchtime. 12 o'clock, I can say that I was working. Yes, I was working. At 7 o'clock in the evening, I was, I don't know. I was taking a nap. What were you doing at this time? And that's it. Don't forget to send this and also the four sentences of activity 28 on your notebook. And that's it. 
I'll meet you tomorrow here as always. Try to be on time. Try to send your activities on time. Try not to miss anything. And remember that this week is being to be like a little bit more relaxed. So if you are missing one of the activities, you have enough time to send them, to do them and finish all that you have finished. I'll see you here tomorrow. As always, have a nice and beautiful day. Goodbye.